I'm Crystal Bauer Sox, and you're watching New Music Director. Your artists, your music, your link. come off the, the Idols live tour, this crazy high from, from American Idol on, the, on TV, and you know, everything was, was still kind of a blur. It was just really, it was just looking forward to the future. I knew what I wanted out of it, and I had this artistic vision and what I wanted everything to, to sound like. For me, Farmer's Daughter is a healing song. I took you know, a very personal and, and, and dark experience of my own in, in dealing with a rocky relationship with my mom and, and child abuse and, and alcoholism and, you know, put it on an album for everyone to hear, hoping that the audience can, can take something from that, uh, whether it's someone who dealt with a similar situation on their own, dealing with their parents or, or uh, a parent who maybe is making some bad choices with their children and can hear the lyrics and say, oh, is this what my kid's going to say about me someday? And, and maybe change behaviors now um, so that their kids don't write a song like Farmer's Daughter about their parents. All of those negative, angry emotions are out of me. I don't, I don't carry it with me anymore. In that way, it's, it's, it's a healing song, and I, I hope that listeners can, can get that out of it. When I sing the song, or when I'm talking about the song, I definitely, um, you know, it kind of floods back in, into my mind's eye and I, I can see vivid images of my childhood and, and things that happened to me and, um, you know, they're, they're painful to deal with. Talking about it is another step in, in getting over it and healing it. This album is, um, and it's all my personal stories and things of love and life and struggles. Most of my songs are written in, in a moment. I mean, they, they come like lightning and it just happens. Each song is a snapshot from you know, a, something, a period of my life, if you listen to my entire catalog in chronological order, you get a pretty good idea of, of who I am as a person. Farmer's Daughter was the song I wanted the world to hear first. There are so many kids in the world or adults who have a similar story and, um, you know, maybe have never confronted these demons. And, and I felt like, why well, just leave it inside and let it fester? I, I, I thought that it was, um, a song that can maybe bring bring people to maybe pull these emotions to the surface and, and, and really strike a chord. If you want to get to know me as an artist, um, listen listen to my songs. This album is just a little snippet of, of my life. I look at this album kind of as a concept album, um, storytelling. The first song, Riding with the Radio, makes a statement right off the bat. Uh, whatever happened to good old rock and roll, what happened to rhythm, and blues, and soul. And I'm a huge roots music and, and, you know, just an old school fan. The second song, For What It's Worth, I mean, that's a timeless classic. It speaks across generations. Um, it's always relevant, the lyrics are always relevant, and I just kind of wanted to do maybe an updated version and maybe um, appeal to, you know, to my generation. Farmer's Daughter is number three on the album, and Really, that's where, that's where this, my storytelling begins, is, is on track three. And it goes from Farmer's Daughter to Holy Toledo. Um, Holy Toledo I wrote when I was 17. It's just a song about hope and looking forward to a, a brighter future. Lonely Won't Come Around is a song that spoke to me because, you know, it's this happy little ditty and, and um, I'm a whistler. I like to whistle. Some of the songs on the album are dark and some are brighter. You know, some, uh, some songs make you think of happier times and some of them make you think of, of maybe dark times in your life. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Nothing in, in this world is impossible. If you can dream it, you can do it.
I'm Crystal Bowersox, your new music director. Your artist, your music, your link.